Three rounds in the Cage Warriors flyweight title tournament semi-finals. The winner gets a date with Sam Creasy later this year. Nice counter left hand there from LeBlond, who we know has got power in his shots, and we know that Shanks does too. It's going to be interesting to see if Shanks does go for the takedowns here, given LeBlond's judo background. We know those judo throws are, are great counters to takedown entries. Both men coming out with that southpaw stance, the right hand forward. And as we saw last night, Dan, the, the pace in these flyweight contests is uh, always fun to watch. Sam Creasy with about 50 million takedowns last <laughs> night. <laughs> yeah, looking like he could continue to do that for a couple more rounds. You know, we've seen Luke go uh, championship rounds multiple times. That, that's the beauty of these lighter weight classes. These guys can just bring a pace and keep that pace up for three fives or even for five fives. Yeah, that's an interesting point, Dan, because, of course, Shank's last two fights have been five rounders. He's been training for them. He's been conditioning himself for them. He's going to be able to let it rip here over three. Yeah, absolutely. When, when you're used to preparing for 25 minutes and then you get told that you're going to do 15, it, 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 it's a big relief. It means that you can turn up the heat. You can go at an even higher intensity for the entire duration of the fight, even higher than you would be in your you know, last couple of preparations, your last couple of fights. And he brought a serious intensity, especially that, you know, when he, when he initially got the belt. Um, the intensity that he brought was just unbelievable for that, for the, for the whole five rounds. Nice leg kick there. Just took LeBlanc's balance out from underneath him. Got to be careful with the counter, though, when he's throwing that left leg kick. Chasing his man around the cage. And there's the takedown from Luke Shanks. We wondered if it would come, and it has. Just over halfway through the first round. And let's see what LeBlanc can do off his back here. Yeah, very nice position. Was able to get his hands connected around the legs. And when you do that, it's very, very hard to defend the takedown, even against the fence. But doing a very good job of getting back to his feet is LeBlanc. Now he's got those takedown attempts from Shanks to think about. One thing LeBlanc's talked about since debut. Oh, it's a huge shot! It's the right hand from LeBlanc, and he sent the former champion staggering into a guillotine attempt here. Switching it now. You know, you, you've got to wonder if the uh, if Shanks is still a little bit rocked here. Yeah, LeBlanc's going to be happy to get back on the feet, you'd think. He's shown the power in his hands in his last fight. He's showed it again in this one. Yeah, look for a guillotine there and then look to switch it to another submission. Wasn't feeling it, got back to the feet, feeling very, got to be feeling very comfortable here. Oh, As we Shanks say that, firing back. You cannot count this guy out. Shanks, of course, knocking out Pietro Menga in the third round, so we know he, car we know he carries his knockout power through the fight. The business picking up here with a minute to go. Nice jab from the former champ, and they are slugging it out here in your call. Very rarely do you see someone as hurt as Luke Shanks was firing back so quickly afterwards. Yeah, tougher than a $2 stake is the former champion. And he's putting it on LeBlanc now. It's LeBlanc having to refocus. And that's what we're talking about, Dan, when we talk about championship caliber, the, the ability to be put in a bad situation and be able to fight through it, get your wits about you and get back in the fight straight away. Another takedown attempt here, nice single leg, a very nice reversal, a possible submission attempt here. He's locked it up. This looks pretty strong. You see how uh, Shanks is lifting that arm very, very high. Only eight seconds he has to go here, but this is a strong position. See those long arms for the weight division. LeBlanc has very long 
long reach there and is able to tie up those head and arm chokes very, very nicely. What a round between Luke Shanks and Nicolas Leblanc. That's a Bit of everything there. The Both guys landing huge flurries of strikes. Of course, Shanks getting dropped and the submission attempts from LeBlanc. Let's take a look at what went down. Beautiful handiwork from the former champ here. Diving in on the takedown earlier in the round. But let's take a look at the knockdown now. The crack on those shots from LeBlanc. Caught him once, sent him staggering back a second time. Yeah, good instincts from Shanks to go for that takedown attempt. Almost finds himself in a submission, but you know, gives him enough time to recover there. And then Shanks pouring it on against LeBlanc, forcing LeBlanc to think twice. Shanks is going to have a lot to think about in this second round in terms of those takedown attempts. He knows LeBlanc's keen for a grip on his neck here. Yeah, and LeBlanc doing a real good job of using those submission attempts. You know, one of them did get pretty close, but he's using them whenever Shanks shoots a takedown to force Shanks to react, to go from an offensive mindset to a defensive mindset, and that allows him to get back to his feet where he's having a lot of success. Both men getting straight back to the fist fight. Shanks landing well there, chasing LeBlanc around the cage. Both men letting rip here at the start of the second round the left hook from Shanks oh great level change by LeBlanc to go underneath and gets the takedown yeah very nice you saw Shanks going for a uh, guillotine there and just the positioning was off now inside the well Shanks on his back he's got the close guard position he's trying to cut an angle here possibly looking for an arm bar but doesn't look like the arm's far what you want to be doing is trying to get that arm across the opponent's body or sorry across your body and your opponent's body and that allows you to get a nice position to switch to an arm bar another takedown attempt another guillotine attempt here the wrong things you know I'm not going to go into this nice right hand there from the broad left hand rather Shanks though backing his man up against the cage. James Doolan in the corner of Luke Shanks. And flooring his man on. I wouldn't be surprised at this point to see LeBlanc shoot another takedown. There it comes. Shanks is just really pouring the pressure on here. You don't see very many people who have been knocked down in a round just putting it on their opponent this aggressively. Yeah, LeBlanc starting to eat some damage here. Oh, but he's firing back with shots of his own. And as we know, he's got one shot stopping power. Doing good work to get his head out of the way there. See how long Shanks can keep this pressure up. Beautiful jab with the right hand from Shanks. Nice one too from LeBlanc. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see LeBlanc shoot another takedown at some point here, just to take some of that pressure and intensity off of it. It's not a nice place to be, and there we go. He thinks about it. It forces a reaction, but you, know, you don't want someone in front of you trying to take your head off. This is turning into one of those fights that I can watch <laughs> once a day, twice on Sunday. And you know, this is the thing that we were talking about with the championship fights. Oh, it's a huge shot there from the former champion. It was a right hook and he's chasing LeBlanc down now. Shanks can do this all day long. There we go. We saw the uh, takedown attempt here. Shanks now into that sprawl position, thinking about tying up the head, but he's on the wrong side. He's on a front naked choke there, but LeBlanc just powers his way out, rolls out of that position. One of the better ways to escape that guillotine, that front headlock, is just to sort of barrel roll your body around and force it off of the neck. LeBlanc still firing back. But you get the sense that the momentum is shifting here towards that of the former champ. Yeah, what a round for Shanks. And he had to after that first, you know, the knockdowns in that first round, he had to come out aggressively and he's certainly done that. Nice job from the blonde there. You hear James Dillon in the corner of Luke Shanks calling for the pressure. He doesn't want LeBlanc given any time to breathe here. Just shows the versatility of Shanks. Yeah, this is a completely different kind of fight that he fought against Samir Fadim. And he just took him down repeatedly and hammered him on the mat. 
Well, that's the beauty of a true mixed martial artist. You dictate where the fight takes place. He's bloodying up Nicolas LeBlanc here, but LeBlanc still firing back and by no means out of the fight. Let's see if LeBlanc can get a second win here, just as Shanks did towards the end of that first frame. That pressure's starting to ease off a little bit from the former champ. And LeBlanc take advantage of There's a big left hand from LeBlanc. And he's got the champ moving backwards again. A left from Shanks. Shanks firing the left hook. LeBlanc trading with him. Oh, what a brawl this is turning out to be. Shanks firing back. Trying to end strong. LeBlanc happy to meet him in the middle. Oh, another shot from LeBlanc. They are gunslinging here in your call. What a round. Yeah, big round for the former champ, Lou Shanks. You know, just pressure, pressure, pressure. Only started to take his foot off the gas sort of in the, 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 the last quarter of that round. Um, doing a lot of damage there and just pretty relentless. This makes for a very, very interesting third and final round. Yeah, I mean, you tend to lean towards Shanks maybe in that second and the, the first, who knows? Beautiful one-two combination there. A look at the flurry from Shanks here up against the side of the cage, walking his man down. Luke Shanks has thrown 135 shots so far in this fight down. Whoa. Connected on 44. LeBlanc thrown slightly less, but he's landed some absolute beauties. Shanks immediately chasing LeBlanc down against the cage. And he's got LeBlanc circling away here. Oh, it's a straight shot with the left hand from LeBlanc, though. Shanks is going to have to be careful when he's rushing in. LeBlanc still very much in this fight. Oh, beautiful body shot from Shanks there. Well, Shanks really looking for the body here in this second round. Shanks still mixing the shots up. He's throwing leg kicks as well. LeBlanc firing back. A nice crisp left from him landed there. Just whiffed on the uppercut, did the Frenchman. Yeah, you can see that Shanks wants to put the pressure on here in this, this last round, but, you know, the output has been so high from him so far that even though he could do this all day, he's starting to slow down a little bit. As I do, he loves a, lands a beautiful right hand. Yeah, that was a big shot from Shanks there, and again, he's able to just catch LeBlanc in these exchanges. LeBlanc still firing back, though. Shanks just eats these shots and keeps on moving forward. It's like a Terminator. Yeah, the former champion, an absolute tank in there tonight. One's taking plenty as well. Good work from Shanks there, just get out of the way of that counter shot from LeBlanc there. High level stuff from both these young men. Yeah, and even in this final round, both of these guys, you can just tell they still have the ability, they still have the power to turn their opponent's lights out in a single shot. And another shot to the body from Shanks. He's with both men wearing a bit of swelling around the eyes now, as, as you would expect. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be a judge for this one. Shanks doing a good job of keeping his upper body moving and just making himself that little bit harder to hit from LeBlanc. In 
interesting to note that first round, which looked like LeBlanc was getting the better shots here, and we saw Shanks going for quite a few takedowns. That second round, where Shanks was really pouring it on his man, and we saw LeBlanc going for a few takedowns. Right now, both of the guys seem pretty evenly matched, and neither of them thinking that they need to try and take this uh, fight to the mat. LeBlanc is throwing 82, Shanks coming up to 200. <laughs> Both men have done a, a good job of making their opponents miss, though, and, and blocking shots. Very complete performances from both these young men. And Shanks still going back to the well with the jab, still keeping the fundamentals, the basics. Beautiful double jab there from the former champion. And the better shots for me. They're coming from Luke Shanks in this round as the fight wears on. We're just a minute away from seeing how our judges score it if it gets that far. Yeah, if you look at the faces of uh, each man, LeBlanc definitely holding or carrying a lot more damage by the looks of things. Either of these two guys versus Sam Kreese, he's going to be an absolute treat. Nice straight shot there by Shanks. LeBlanc perhaps looking for a takedown, he gets caught with the right. Nice triple jab there from LeBlanc, Shanks firing straight back. Shanks trying to walk his man down, great work to duck under there from LeBlanc. Shanks going back to the jab, the one-two lands. And they are still slinging to the final bell. Damovad is going to have to be pretty quick to step in between them here. Final 10 seconds. They're going to let rip. LeBlanc has got work to do here. Oh, and he lands a crisp right. Shanks fires back with a left. What a fight. What three rounds of mixed martial arts action we go to our judges scorecards all three judges score this bout 29 28 in favor of your winner by way of unanimous decision in the blue corner luke the apocalypse shanks luke the apocalypse shanks the former champion will get a second crack at the title